Uh, welcome back, uh, my dear grandchild. I'm glad that you've finally come. I'm sure your grandfather is too. Live well, my dear. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> Alright. Okay, well, welcome back. So, uh, looks like we got a lot of wine that just finished up. The all star fruit, and it seems like it's mostly star fruit and blueberry. Okay. Another rainy day. Wow. Hi, Jennifer. Pant. Ooh. That was quite a workout, walking all the way up here. I wasn't even that far. I do it literally every day. <laughs> anyway, I came by to ask if you wanted to have dinner with us tonight. You don't have to, but if you decide to come, could you please bring a largemouth bass with you? That's right, one of those big slimy fish from the lake. I need one for the casserole I'm making. Okay, well, uh, it'll be at our house at around 7 p.m. Don't forget the largemouth bass. Jody, you know, you really need to, like, give people notice if you're going to do that type of stuff. Okay, so, looks like we actually have more than enough starfruit wine. We can go ahead and sell some of it. So, yeah, now that, um, I'd like to give my wife a starfruit from, for our anniversary. Are you growing any on your farm? If you brought me one, I'd be very grateful. Uh, yeah, we should be able to do that. Alright, so let's go ahead and sell this wine that we've made. Got a whole bunch of blueberries. Yeah, a lot of blueberries. <laughs> Looks like we have some wheat and some peppers. And looks like we're full. Okay. Those away. Put the corn and the wheat away. Um, I am going to put our watering can as well as this uh Lucky Fox Charm thing away, since I'm not sure if it actually gives us any luck. Still not quite clear on that. So we got some peppers we can go ahead and pick. Like it's that's everything. Um, we can go ahead. Uh, let's have the blueberries equipped, not the bombs, because I don't want to accidentally <laughs> activate one of those inside the house. That would be very bad. like that we use up half of the blueberries that we had on hand okay unfortunately we do not uh we should definitely make sure we have a star fruit which we had a less high value star fruit than a gold but such is life um let's take a look here Fish, large mouth bass, hot 
popular fish that lives in lakes. Yeah, I'd kind of prefer if I, uh, if you had one, had some more details on it, like when I could catch it. Because I'm not sure I have one on hand at the moment. Wire quartz. I wonder why it says deliver at some point today when it actually means within like the next two days, but all right. All right, let's go ahead. Buy a whole bunch of radish seeds. We are going to want a lot of wheat because I plan on selling all of those. Um, once we hit 300 in total, because I'd like to get that achievement. Um, well, no, we shouldn't bother selling the hay because it's worthless. Better off just holding on to it in case we need it later on. Not that I think we really will need it at all, but you never know. Space for the speed grow. All right. So give me one second. Okay, so we can actually catch this fish at any point during any season, during uh, any weather. So at least we should still be able to get it today. It's been a very rainy summer. So, but we do need to go up to the mountain lake in order to get it. Okay, let's go ahead and sell a few things before we even, like, touch any of the other stuff. Okay. Worry about getting peppers, I think, first. is very much full. Where are we at on the crop order? Okay, we're almost halfway there. Hopefully we can finish it before the end of the month. Or before the end of the season. Probably go ahead and grab a fire quartz so I don't forget one later. Okay, we definitely need to make some goat milk. Go ahead and make uh, some more. I missed the uh, the um 
the cook show. The cooking show. Yesterday. Well, at least we have Wednesday to catch the rerun, so it's not the end of the world. Honestly, I don't think we're going to have enough space for everything, even on the second trip. Yeah. That's pretty ridiculous, not going to lie. <laughs> um, okay. And I only have three spaces here. I mean, I guess I'll sell the copy, because I don't care as much about coffee beans into actual coffee, but we still don't have enough actual space for everything. Specifically all this corn. So I guess we just have to walk back. Cranberries. You know, cranberry and cranberries can be delicious, but you don't eat. We don't eat what we're about to put in a chest for years and never touch again. Right. Um. Grab that fiddlehead fern. Probably need to just make a chest specifically for. Um, fruit trees. I think I'm just going to put this fiddlehead burn into here. I only have it so that we have one on hand in case we need it. Good. These beets. Beets can actually be make, made into sugar. Oh, right. Um, grab one blueberry. Okay, I think that's it. Other than the corn, we are really running out of time. But I want my corn. Is it worth it, Jennifer? Yes, it's corn. My math teacher, was, my uh, high school algebra teacher, was really big into corn. Like, as in the band, not uh. Um, well, she might have been into actual corn, but. Good enough. Okay, let's. I don't think we're gonna really have enough time. Um, I probably should hold on to that star fruit as well. Um, let me get that star fruit. I know, I'm, I'm just gonna sell them. I know who, who am I and what have I actually done with the David. <laughs> um, mine's actually might not have been the closest, but oh well. Alright, come on. I need a largemouth bass. I need it quickly. I'll be dilly dallying here with the uh, other random bullcrap.
Yes. Thank you, game. Okay. The game heard my pleas and answered. Great. Okay. Let's go ahead. Head back to... Eh, let's do the bus stop. Probably the closest. So we have our starfruit. We have our largemouth bass. I think we're good. Oh, cutscene. Hey, Jennifer, please come in. Ah, I'm so glad you came. And you brought the fish. Wonderful. Sam, can you come in here and help clean this fish? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> well, don't just throw it on the floor. <laughs> it smells so fresh. Yeah, I literally just caught it five minutes ago. <laughs> Thanks so much for doing this. Kent caught a fish too, but he eats about a whole fish to himself. Mmm, <laughs> that crispy bass was delicious. The breeding was to die or the The breading was to die for. Yeah. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> Almost feel like part of the family now. Okay, cool. Okay, more cutscenes. Fun. As far as we're getting any cutscenes with these guys, we've hardly interacted with them. Oh, hi, Jennifer. Sebastian and I were just having a little jam session. I'm trying to start a band, but we still don't know what kind of music to make. There's too many possibilities. Let's see. What kind of music do you like? Cheerful pop music, experimental noise rock, high energy dance music, honky tonky country music. Um, well, I guess probably that. Hey, you know what? That's exactly the kind of style I've been thinking about for the band. I don't know what the different responses will get you. Okay. Thanks for the help. My guitar skills and Sebastian's wizardry on the synthesizer are going to be a screaming success. I'm convinced of it. Now I just need to find someone to play the drums. You've literally played with Abigail before. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead. Give you this. Don't tell Jody. See? Ah, uh, this looks juicy. She'll love it. Thank you so much. 500 gold. Okay. Crop order. Elegant reception. Yeah, we're still waiting on the goat cheese, but it will be fine. Yeah. So, I'm not sure if we just have to wait until 7, or if the cutscene meant that we did it. So, I guess we'll just fish for a minute, go back in at 7, and find out. So there is a separate cutscene for it. Alright, cool. 
Hi, Jennifer. I'm making, I'm just making some popcorn. Or maybe this is, oh, this is a separate cutscene. Ooh. Ah. That sound. You should have known that sound would remind me of the war. Yeah, this is unfortunately a very um, hard cutscene. Um, I lost a lot of good friends in those bloody trenches. But dear, popcorn was always your favorite before you left. Things have changed. Jennifer, can you say something to him? Jody's to blame. She should have known better. I know you're hurting, but don't blame your wife. Lie. Blame me. I asked for popcorn. Don't lie to me. I hate lies more than anything. Oof. I'm sorry, honey. You couldn't have known the sound of popcorn would make me upset. It's okay, dear. The last thing I want to do is make you upset. I'll do my best to keep your spirits up from now on. Yeah, I don't know what the best response was for that. Okay, that seems to be it, so let's go ahead and just continue on with our day. Uh, we'll see if we can get this fire quartz to the appropriate person. Who the heck are you? I don't believe we've met before. The name's uh, Katarina? Katarina? Head researcher for cryptozoology. That sounds fake, but all right. Today I'm here to catch up with some colleagues, but if you see anything supernatural, let me know. Okay, that's interesting. Do we actually, is she like an actual NPC that we can kind of talk with now? Uh, I don't think so. So apparently Martin is still around, otherwise we probably wouldn't have hearts with him. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I'll take a look here. Now it is summer. Sweet hearts are seeking sweet peas. I would be most grateful if uh, someone could... Deliver 30 freshly picked blooms, Ideen, or rock rejuvenation. I'm going to invite some friends over to do a rock rejuvenation ceremony, but I'll need some crystals to cha channel the right energies. Do you think you could lend me a hand? Let's go ahead and take that one, since we basically have all of them, and we don't have to actually go and find them first. And just deliver them. How, how forward thinking. Instead of making you waste so much time collecting all the materials, you just use all the materials that you already have. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being bitter. Um, all right. So at this point, yeah, I think um, I'm going to try and see if I can give this fire quartz to the kid. If not, then I guess we'll just come over here and explore a little. If we go up to the, uh, the old mine, see if we can take care of that. Uh, or not take care of, but see if we can... Um, this kid right uh delivery to oliver yeah you brought me the item i asked for i really appreciate it here's your payment 300 gold thank you kid not sure well 
Yeah, you're a rich kid, so... Should've charged double. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead... Uh, let's go north, I think, until we get up there. I think it's this way, maybe? little cottage. Is there anything else this way? Not looking like it. Well, there looks like there's another path. Oh, is this uh, the Void Goats area? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> This looks like the the area in Stardew Valley expanded, I think. Strange and unpleasant smell wafts out from the depth. A mixture of shadows, smoke, and something deeper. Something darker. You decide it's safest not to venture further. What are you talking about? I have the galaxy sword. Honestly, we're probably just going to use this warp totem to get back. So, we can take a few extra minutes to kind of explore around. Kind of expecting to have found the, uh... Yeah, yeah, it's getting late. Good thing the uh, the goats don't get aggroed or anything. Some more hardwood stumps up this way. You you know need hardwood. So is it maybe this way? No. I guess we just kind of missed wherever we needed to go to find the mines. Oh, yeah, it's over here. I don't like that they put one right there. Come on, drop some iridium. Ah, well. Unfortunately, I am going to use our warp totem so we can back. Especially since uh, it doesn't put us right in front of the house or anything, so we do need to still walk a little bit to, to get back in time. Okay, I won't worry about that. Head to bed, and probably call it a part. Yeah, unfortunately these parts are definitely getting a little longer. Just busy. What? Yeah, that that starfruit wine. Now you know why starfruits are so expensive. Why a lot of people will put a lot of time into those. So, alright. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.